All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Riffin Top, but this time I'm going to teach you guys the Riffin versus Graves matchup. It's like one of those other like new meta matchups, which have been there for like quite a few months now. So what we're going to be doing this game, you know, running Conquer is what I always recommend. Um, we also have the Transcendence here, obviously, because we need Ability Haze and we also have the Gathering Storm. And now to make the matchup a little bit easier, I always recommend Dawn Shield. You know, obviously Graves is going to be poking all day. He's going to be auto-attacking us. He's going to spam Q. He's going to spam his E. Const like, constantly pressure us out. So, Dorn Shield's going to do a lot here. The biggest advice I can give um, in this matchup all the time, if you want to have an easy time, you got to stand behind the wave, okay? Because Graves cannot poke you if you're standing behind it. The only thing he can do is spam Q. And if he does use the Q, it's going to cost him a lot of mana. Also, you can sidestep the Graves Q as well, which is pretty crucial. My hands are oh, we're going to lose that. It's definitely acceptable if you're going to far behind just a little bit in terms of farm in this matchup. It's perfectly understandable. It's really not that big of a deal in case that happens. Although we are losing a little bit too much here. Yeah, you can see like Graves has got like a lot of damage up. But at the same time, he lost like so much mana in return for it. I hope he's going to get comfy here because I'm going to kill him. Okay, he's going to go for the CS. Watch. You see how Grace is changing in his trading pattern? Because he knows that I can kill him right now. Except he's, he's expecting me to like dash into him straight up. So he can take it very slowly. <clears throat> now we're taking the heart push and that's going to reward us pretty well here. Never take too much damage against Grace when you don't need to. Nice, that's gonna stack up. Let's place a ward down. Hmm. Pretty unfortunate we're getting ganked by Trundle. But I think we could probably still kill Grace because he might be over overly confident right now. I hope he does. Come on, dude. I'm gonna waste his time as much as possible. <laughs> How much time did he already waste? <laughs> Alright, good luck, my man. I'm gonna backport here. Yeah, unfortunately, we're getting perma camped by the enemy top laner. Uh, I mean, by the enemy jungle, but it is what it is gonna make us fall behind a little bit but it should be okay i could have killed graves if tronda wasn't there like i was in the position where i had the favor because i had the wave like pushing into graves which would then give me the opportunity to either back or potentially trade and wave and kill him but yeah it's okay you know, good thing, like, the wave is pushing into him. We lost a lot of farm, XP, and everything. Um, but in return, I get my longsword, so we might still be able to beat him he right here. Um, depending, of course, on how he's going to play it. So, we'll see. Wow. He really does put everything into this game. Like, he's placing wards down. He doesn't care about warding the river. And he really does, like, everything it takes to, like, poke here. What? <laughs> hmm. He's level 6 for level 5. That's the problem here. That's why he's so confident at the moment. Because he has the advantage. And that's where we kill him. You see, 
even when Graves is level 6, right? He's got his ultimate. You know what I did? He could have beaten me. But what I did was I used my wave to block the damage from Graves, right? So if he would jump into me, he would have to like auto attack the CS first. So I was like um, using the wave to my advantage. You see? So Graves can be this a, a true pain, right? He can be very annoying to face because he's consistently going to poke you the entire lane. But if you stand in that wave, he cannot kill you. Like, it's just the way how the champion works. You know, that makes the, the entire difference here. So now we have a ore hammer. Awesome. Fun fact. He's going with Phage, Cloth Armor. You might think like, oh no, like he's going to be super tanky now, right? He's going to have healing. He's going to have... Um, armor cloth for becoming even harder to beat. The thing is, we have two pots. He doesn't. He doesn't have a conch award either, so he put himself into an awkward position right now. I'll show you. Uh, we're about to be ganked here. It's not looking good. Hmm. I suppose my mid laner also can't beat him. Hmm. Oh well, I got you. I suppose my Gwen should have him. Yeah, great. I'm gonna be maxing W here. Usually when I play against Graves, I tend to like max my E sometimes. Um, but this game, we don't have to. We're just going to burst him to death every single time. Got it. Nice. Go back. So next, we're going to... Um, you might, you guys might think like, okay, we're gonna buy Iron Spike here, because that would make sense, right? Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Um, instead, we're gonna go for Candle Gem, and we'll take this one. My hands are now, of course, there's nothing wrong with, like, buying an Iron Spike here. Obviously not, like, you're getting more damage and clear, right? Um, but the thing is, you don't need damage against Graves. You need, you need, you need to become more tanky. You need Ability Haste. Right, tier one boots as well. You need movement speed so you can uh, hide him. Right, damage is useful here, but not useful enough. We gotta prioritize like ability haste first. And you're dead again. Oh. Well, I guess not yet. Hmm. Well, that really sucks, actually. Uh, I think I could probably kill him here. Turn around, my man. Okay, smart. <laughs> if he turned, I would have had him right there on the spot. And I still get you. I still win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much over for Graves. He has got no lane anymore. It's dumb for him because we get my Gorchinka soon. And yeah, you can probably guess what's going to happen right after. We can kill him. Okay. Nice. Appreciate it. Because now we can actually buy my core drinker. That's my uh, that was my problem.
Now I go back. We got this one now. So yeah, now we're at 3 and 0. We got Gorge Anchor. This guy still has like uh, Phage. He's got a pickaxe for damage. And he's got Armor Club. And that's it. So good luck to him. I'm going to go mid first, actually. A little Cassiopeia. Well, you're dead. Good luck. I was uh, pretty much faking my all in by third queuing the wave and then directly using my extended queue to like uh, fast queue her. <laughs> So many people fall for that, man. So many people fall for that. It's actually crazy. People think that if Riffin uses the third Q, that, that the Q is on cooldown. Well, not if you're playing against me, though. Kidding. <laughs> Let's get this wave here. <clears throat> hmm, and we could actually kill him. But they should not see me, otherwise they will run. Okay, here we go. Here's the moment. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was actually so smart. <laughs> Dies. So next we're gonna go for Lucidity Boots. I think my next item I think will probably be um, a Black Lever for sure. And I think also, I think my third item will probably be a Chainsword for Trundle, but I'm not sure about that because, I mean, I don't care about Trundle right now. I've got my Ignite anyway, so I could cut his healing if I like. You know, of course, we're playing against Graves here. This guy is going with a super weird build, by the way. Playing Graves with a hole breaker first item. What? Okay. Interesting, because this doesn't look that bad, actually. Let's push next wave, then we get some jungle camps. I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna walk away by walking in this direction, but in reality, I'm just gonna walk around again and then sit in this brush. I hope he's gonna walk in here. Hmm. Seems like he doesn't. There might also be a, a trundle top soon. If Grace is going to walk up, obviously Chundle's going to be here. Hmm. I suppose we could probably get some kills. Let's going to keep on forcing him. Oh, I straight up miss it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it was like close up range here. Hey, this build is actually not even bad. What? <laughs> I'm honestly quite impressed. Like this Graves build is actually working pretty well. I'm kind of, I'm actually really surprised because you would think that if Graves is this far behind, he's like 0-4. You would think that he would never do this much damage, right? 
But actually, this item could make a lot of sense for him. Oh, he missed that. Whoops. Okay, let's go back. So this time, we're going to go for Black Cleaver. I mean, yeah. We're going to go for Warhammer, then go for Kindle Gem. Let's get that one. We'll sell the pots. Let's go ball lane. I actually want to try and kill Grace, but... Wait a second. Let's see what happens. Learn from your mistakes. So that's Cassio bot lane. Uh, I'm not going to go for Cassio fights because Cassio counters Riffin super hard. So I'm going to avoid her. My spirit is not lost. See if we can get this camp here. Nice ultimate. <laughs> oh man, he instantly popped his ultimate out. <laughs> oh, you're dead, buddy. Hey, bud. Wait, uh, give me a moment. Wait, we are 5 and 2. This guy is 0 and 4. Wait, what? We are actually one level... We are one level ahead. What's the win rate from Graves? 50.1%. Wait, what? What's going on? I am absolutely impressed. The how, like, I'm actually very surprised that this Grace has been able to 1v1 me, but like, while well, I'm actually this far ahead of him, that's that's actually crazy in my opinion. Like, we're learning some new stuff right here today, man. That's really interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna take notes here, man. I'm gonna play that myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be abusing that, man. Got him. Got you, too. Hey, George the Pirate. Hey, thank you for the subprime. Thank you for the support, man. Hey, welcome to the sub family. Hey guys, we're, we're, we're taking notes right here. I'm going to play that, that stuff myself, man. That's just insane. Definitely a video for like Graves Top coming very soon. Because I'm going to try that out myself. Okay, so let's go uh, back to base. I think if I can get my hands on a black lever and a chain sword, I should be fine against Graves. I should be able to one v one him for sure. Has to be. Like right now, Graves doesn't only have the hole breaker for splitting the side lanes, but he also has the shield bow. So if we counter that part by buying the chain sword, uh, then we should absolutely be alright against them, for sure. Mm. Okay. Do we taking notes here, man? These champions are pretty interesting. Mm, so we, I suppose we can probably not kill him because even though we know where he is. 
Oh, okay, he ran that way. That's fine. I cannot believe that this Graves is actually pressuring us, like being this behind, actually. That's just crazy. next wave that we go back I suppose like we are like one level ahead of Graves I think it's gonna be a struggle to beat him still I don't think it's cha uh, it's changed anything let's go for this one I think that my next item will probably be a Grudge. Um, even though I haven't completed my Chainsword yet, I still have the item. Um, I think Grudge is all we need here. Hey, welcome back, Sabreeze. Alright, here comes the moment. Let's fight him. We should be able to beat this one. We should be able to, no doubt. Got him. Nice. Let's go down here. Okay. Oh, they actually, he knew I was going to jump over. That's pretty crazy. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had my ultimate. I just wish I had it, man. Imagine like what kind of an epic fight that could be if I had my ultimate. Oof. Why did I have to use my ultimate like earlier in Graves, man? I regret my decision right now. If I knew that this team fight was coming, I would have folded for sure. <laughs> I regret it, man. I, t I take that. I take that one v one with Grace back. <laughs> Big regrets. Drake spawns in like forty seconds right now. I think I'm gonna, um, um, or well, I was going to. I was thinking about getting the red buff from uh, from here, but I'm just gonna leave it to Gwen because I don't need it. Would be cool though. So Grace is top side. We have to see what's going to happen right here, because if Graves continues, then we're going to have to drop the, the fight right here. This is a big problem. If Graves gets this tower, it's going to be... Uh, we're going to lose it all. Gotcha. Yeah, I wish I could have helped my team right there. I wish I could, but the Grace is down there. So, kind of unfortunate. <clears throat> hmm. They're pressuring mid. I'll go back here. Let's go here. Yeah, that bull buff is probably gone, I'm assuming. Wait. The Wentz fighting Trondle. Let's go over this camp here. There is another person here, but I don't think I can fight him. Unless he's going to overextend for it. 
Okay. I am really surprised. This Graves is actually so strong. It's unbelievable. I really need to try that build because that looks so strong. Remember, we are 11 and 3. This Graves is 1 and 8. He's actually like somehow almost killing me, which is incredible. Let's go back. Uh, let's go for cane sword here. Oh man. What in the world? They are actually fighting this, which is pretty incredible because they're not being fully grouped here. Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> I got deleted like so hard right there for a second. That Caitlyn killed me in like, I think like four auto attacks or something. That's interesting. Only this one alone did like 916 damage. What? Okay, it's probably going to go bot like It's probably going to push bot lane again. I'm just going to go bot right after. I'll let my team just uh, farm this out. I'm going to see if I can kill Graves myself. Oh man, by the way, Arkenhide. Continuing the gift sub they got from Nike bot. Hey, thank you so much, Arkenhide. <laughs> thank you so much, man. For some kind of reason, I cannot see, like, what the number is, but... Strange. I think that he's probably baiting, I feel like. Yeah, if he knows. He's got a... <laughs> he's got, like, shield bow, and he's got, like, uh... He's got a lot of blood there, so for life seal. We're taking notes, guys. I'm going to play it myself. Next game. Choose your own path. <clears throat> Not bad. What? I got deleted so fast, man. This Caitlyn is doing so much damage. That's like one or two auto attacks? What? It's so like the moment I jump in, she just like... She just does like one... One auto attack and she does like that much? Yeah, uh, this game is uh this game is over. Wow, she does like so much damage. Either way, guys, this is Riffin Top. Fortunately it's a loss. It is what it is. We had a good game regardless. But uh either way, this is Riffin Top. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.